of us got a different been here with Travis. We haven't been here together for a long time, so it feels it kind of brings you back, don't it? Yes. I mean, you know, especially since we're here talking about what happened back then. It kind of revives memories. Yeah, it does. You know, on the way out, it's such a long drive that a lot of times we just kind of uh, fall back asleep because, you know, you get up early in the morning, you get in the truck, and then you go driving. We get drowsy on the way out, but never on the way home because, you know, we, we were all physically active all day, sweating and everything. And so, you know, in the movie, it makes it look like we were real drowsy driving home, but we were wide awake when, when this thing uh, came into view. Now, did you all spot it? It was, or did, did people on a certain side of the truck? I believe it? Alan Dallas saw it first. Yeah, he's the one that yelled out something. What did he say? It's a spaceship. He said it's a spaceship. He said no, he didn't say flying saucer. He said spaceship. Something like that, anyway. I, I thought. I know it was a UFO. I thought you guys thought it was a crash plane or something. Well, first. that was before we had any clear view of it. You know, when we were just seeing glimmers of light, we were just trying on all kinds of ideas about what this might be. You know, maybe a forest fire, maybe campers, maybe... A burn. We thought it was the moon at first, but then we saw the moon on the opposite, you know... In the other direction. direction. And how far away were you from it when you first could see the light about? Oh, uh, it was probably a couple hundred yards when we first got glimmers of it, but I don't think everybody saw the glimmers at, right at the same time. And it wasn't anything that was that alarming at first. It was just the closer we got, the more curious it, it was because it wasn't fitting in, in with any of these theories about campers or uh, airplane crashes or forest fires or anything like that.